so Oleg talked about all internet stuff leading to wanking something I know all too much of myself um, and I uh, uh, th this is this next poem is basically a day in the life of doing a PhD I finished uh, 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 um, I did it towards the end. I wrote this towards the end of my PhD and everyone was like, oh, what's it like? How's it going on? And you're like, oh, I'm going mad and I want to rip your skin off. Um, but I didn't say that to them most of the time. Uh, but I was asked to do a perform at this Sussex Poetry Festival. And so I thought I'd write this new thing for it. And initially, um, I haven't got it with me, so you'll have to imagine. Um, I recorded... A, I recorded myself having a wank and coming at the end as a sort of finale to the poem. Mm. And it was like a kind of scenescape in the background, it's sort of... Uh, but then the, the, the festival went on for two days and I was performing on the second day and after the first day, I'd gone along to it and we'd all gone out and I was playing music on my phone. <laughs> and I, that, I didn't play that by accident. Worse than that, sort of. I was worried I'd play it by accident, so I removed it from the music player list, not realising that that would delete it altogether from the phone. And I didn't realise until the next day, really hung over, with about half an hour till I had to set off for the event, my child at home. So I had to send my child on a fool's errand so that I can go and have an extremely perfectly timed wank. I had any problems and it just would have been a no-go. I only had time for one. It was like, it was high pressure. Um, uh, but I did it and it was all fine. I don't have that anymore. I deleted it, but you can just imagine that. And this is about the, this is what, one day of work. <coughs> This emphatic urging towards the value of active art as the highest working skill of craftsmanship and technical skill stands in direct opposition to the destruction of human means of livelihood caused by night nurse, diazepam, story tapes, three pound wine, a caved in head, the capital capitalist division of labor. Lufa Rigno said, what? Smash the mirrors. I've squandered my youth and beauty on Scriven and my face is a dishcloth. Photos, facelift. How young is too young? Facelift gone wrong. Fuck me. Photos, Botox, brow lift. Photos, what do women in their 30s really look like? On this, he says only the presence of rigorously thought out preliminary work gives me, gives me the time to finish anything since my normal output of which print song are you after half a gram of MDMA take this test to find out it is always get off output of work in progress is eight to ten lines per day the point at which these two systems diverge definitively is in the repetitive potential she presses a teabag against her arm the reason why is genius Judith says I am me share if you agree these letters may be seen not merely as a stock of reserves in themselves, but rather as another smaller sort of peaks for you, mate. 30 years after Rocky IV, Dolph Lundgren turns new page in skin trade. Yeah, I'd fucking love to go for lunch. An alternate dynamic would make for an awkward backdrop to indicate both the torture endured by Google torture, endured by Mayakovsky to produce his poems, medieval torture devices. There are dozens upon dozens of different torture techniques and devices. Using ropes, a prisoner would be lowered above. The victim would succumb to rips in the muscle tissue. This was done either by soaring. This this heinous contraption was used as a way to poetry, comma, das Kapital and circulation. Offenders were lashed to the wheel and their limbs beaten with. It features hundreds of sharp spikes. Mayakovsky to produce his poems and the tough pressure and discipline he enforces upon himself in order to, followed by the progressive tightening of iron restraints, often heated during torture. The number of spikes on the blocks varied from three to twenty, often depending on the nature of the crime and the status of the prisoner and discipline he enforces upon himself in order to ensure that the work gets done. Whatever the reason for this analogy, I identifies with a ceaseless controlling force again you standing before me say come thank you <laughs> <clears throat>